In this example, for Alice, we're going to learn how to set something as a vehicle, and we're also going to explore using keyboard controls. We're going to start by going to the gallery under Edit Scene, and we're going to look in the Looking Glass Scenery. I'm actually going to search, I'm going to search for a car. Actually, yeah, that'll be fine. So I have my car, he's facing me. I actually want to face away from me. And I want to demonstrate something very simply. I'm going to just use a spider for a moment here. I'm going to turn my spider around. I'm going to move my spider up. Oops, that's my camera. I'm going to move this spi spider up and forward and up. So he's basically sitting on the car. I want to check that. Nope, not quite. Move him forward a bit. Okay, he's basically sitting on the car. I'm going to pull this out a little bit so that you can see how this is going to work. I want to get a little bit away from the car. Okay, now I'm going to go to edit my code. I'm going to select my spider. And under the pre procedures, I want to see functions. Let's look at the properties. We can set colors, we can set opacity, we can set a vehicle. I want to set the vehicle equal to the car. And then we're going to test this two different ways. We're going to have the car move forward 10, and then we're going to have the spider move forward. Shove the spider move backwards. Ten. And I just want to test this so you can see what will happen. If you want them to move together, you have to move the vehicle. So we've set the vehicle for the spider to the car. If you move the car forward, the spider goes with it. If you move the spider forward, it doesn't, but that doesn't stop it from being the vehicle because if we can copy this so that we move the car forward again and then run it, notice what moves forward even though the spider's not on top of it, it's still the vehicle. We can use that concept with a camera so I'm going to delete the spider. I'm going to go into the scene, edit the scene. I'm going to delete the spider. Not the car, the spider. I'll make sure that the spider is selected over here. And I'll delete. Okay, so I'm going to actually have to go into the code and delete the code first. I can go back into my scene and I can delete the spider. The camera is something else that we can move. So if we want to feel like we're driving the car, we can change the angle just a little bit so we're going to come up and be looking down at it like we are in some video games. 
And that's really where we're going. We want to create a video game using this. So I've now got my car directly underneath my camera. And I want to try and line it up as much as I can here. And you can change the angle depending on what you want to see. I just want to see the tip of my hood. Okay, so I'm basically having the camera ride the car here. I'm going to edit the code and I'm going to actually accept a keyboard listener, but first I have to go to my properties of my camera and set its vehicle as the car. Now we should be able to test this because I've got the car moving forward twice and that works just fine. The next thing we want to do is we're going to delete the moving car statement because what we want to happen is we want to have control of the car from the keyboard. I'm going to edit the scene and I'm going to change the angle on this because all we can see is dirt right now. So I want to move the camera back a bit. I want to see a bit of the horizon, but I still want to see the car in front of me. So we're still riding the car. And then we're going to go back and we're going to edit the code. And I'm going to show you how to use the keyboard to control the car. So I'm going to go to, go to the procedures and I'm going to select the car and we're going to have the car add a key listener. And here, if we just run it this way, I'm going to have the car move forward one. And I'm going to run. Now I'm going to hit, I'm hitting the H, J, K. Oops, it's moving backwards. I and mean, that is what you see that it's doing. Um, and it doesn't matter what key I pressed, it's just moving. That's not particularly helpful for us change that to move forward. I need to select the keys so I can have this act more like a game. So I want to be able to control the car. So I'm going to check to see if the key is up. We want the car to move forward. Otherwise, if the key is So we're going to select if the key is arrow down, we want to move backward. Our other options if we're using arrow keys would be if the key is, we want to check for the arrow key being right, then we want to turn. You want to make this a very, very small angle, otherwise you'll oversteer. We're going to want to turn right, and I'm going to choose 0.0125, but that's actually too big of an angle. I'm going to put in 0.01, because I want very subtle movement. I want better control. Otherwise, if the key is left, we want the car to turn left. And we're not going to have any other else statements. So now when I run, I'm pushing my forward key, I'm pushing my right key, I'm pushing my left key. It doesn't let you truly move two keys at the same time. But I can move forward, I can turn, I can move, I can move back, all using my arrow keys, which is going to set us up to do some cool things where we can do collision detection and things like that.